Hey there, Shooby Doodlers, and uh, it's the Doctor Who's 50th anniversary, and so I thought I would have a go at drawing Matt Smith, the current Doctor Who. If you don't know Doctor Who, it's time you did. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Let's do it. Now, to draw Matt Smith as Doctor Who, I'm going to do some strange marks here. I'm going to, these are kind of around his eyes. Uh, and then I'm going to draw these big hollow cheeks coming in like that. And then his eyes are going to be here. So his eyebrows will come out like that. And he has very hooded eyes. So we're going to want to have his eyes doing something like this. And then his nose will come out there. We want a little kind of a bobble on the bottom like that. His mouth, it kind of comes up like that, up like that to meet in the middle. We'll give him a little bit of a smile. And then bottom lip. Now his ears are going to be just slightly above his eyes, sort of like that. And then we want this to come down slightly like that. <laughs> this is very weird, isn't it? It's quite a long chin and it kind of curves in there. And then we need all that famous hair. <laughs> uh, this will be starting around about here and we want that to curl around. And this will kind of curl around like that and it would be curling down and up and round and down there in front of his ears and I think this is much too harsh here so I'm going to be I'm going to shave this off a little bit like, like that I think that's looking a little better and I'm going to want him in his bow tie down there. Um, and we will see his shirt kind of coming down there with a collar. And he'll have a tweedy jacket on. it will come something like that there and we're going to want that hair to come just underneath now I'm going to get away with doing this by having <laughs> just going to have where I've kind of sculpted his chin there I'm going to put this kind of dark shadow here behind and I'm just going to have it squiggling out behind so this is the diddly dum diddly dum this is the uh the, the sands of time zooming behind him diddly 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 that kind of thing <laughs> and then we got his hair so his hair is really really big and then we can kind of outline his hair hides the mistakes i've made with the chin <laughs> a little bit and then we can bring some sort of harsh, what's that called? Shadowing in underneath there like that. And we probably want to add some more in there. And I don't know, I'm just going to put a kind of a pattern, a line rather, not, it's not really a pattern, is it? I'm just going to put a, a, a slight texture to his shirt. And then I'm going to put a definite texture to his jacket here. And I'm going to do one across as well at an angle to, uh, and maybe two across to get that kind of tweedy kind of texture to it. And then I think we need more around there like that. Now I'm going to use my favourite Copic markers. You know you've seen me do these before. And uh, if you want to see somebody using Copic markers in a really interesting way, then come back on Wednesday. I got an interview with. Uh, Joel Cooper, who's a graphics facilitator. Have you ever seen those TED videos where the person's kind of drawing 
It's a kind of cartoon thing, but the story builds up as, they're t as, the, as the person who's talking is talking. Well, Joel does this. I met him the other day at a conference and I did a little interview with him. And uh, it's just really interesting to see how people, um, the jobs that people end up doing, um, who've kind of got art training. And, um, uh, and he really has to use his brain a lot on it. I think you're going to find that really interesting. I'm using uh, Fruit Pink here. And uh, Joel uses Copic markers on his thing. Yeah, so I'm going to put that in there as well. Um, Matt Smith has kind of hazel eyes, but I'm going to do green. Well, it's kind of what they are, but I think it needs a little bit of darkness up there as well. And I'm going to get some sand in here. I think it's sand, isn't it? Yeah, just to make this all a bit darker and a bit darker under there as well. And I'm going to really chisel those cheeks in. I'm going to want more around there like that I think and I think probably we want sand in his hair <laughs> so I'll put a lot of as, as a kind of a background colour to his hair and probably for his tweedy jacket too so I'm just going to block that in I'm going to give him a purple bow tie blueness in that just as a kind of hint of shadow really and I think I'm going to use that blue just in the background here. <laughs> I think this this is running out of colour, I think. so. There. I think all I really need to do is to kind of work on this hair a bit more. Flick this around. And we certainly want that to be darker in underneath there. And darker on the top there, like that. So this is a cartoon really, isn't it? And, um, or a caricature probably, more like a caricature, is it? Um, it's just a bit of Doctor Who fun, <laughs> is what it is. And I'm gonna put some dots all over this jacket, I think. Like that. That's the darker brown, and, and I think I'm gonna just do a hint of cross hatching in on that as well, and I think it's still. I think it needs something a bit darker in this sort of time warp thing. So I'm going to use the purple from the bow tie to accentuate this background like that. And as you can see, I'm doing this very, very fast. I'm not really speeding up, and I might speed up a couple of little bits, but this is. I'm. I'm. I'm doing this at this speed now, and. Uh, I'll zoom it out a little bit and that's almost there. I think we need a little bit of something more pinky. What have we got here? Fruit pink. I don't think that's pink enough in the lips there. Salmon pink. I bet this will be too much. This will just be too much. Probably. Oh, well, that's not too bad. And I think I just need to take those teeth down a little bit there and maybe some shadow there as well, a bit more shadowing underneath there. I think this is neat. needs a little more darkness around the eyes and down there as well, I think. And maybe a bit down there as well. There you are, how to draw Matt Smith as Doctor Who. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, why not go and learn how to draw Matt Smith's mortal enemy, the Cybermen? Or just go and try the mystery drawing instead. Either way, make sure you're subscribed to the Shoe and Enjoy channel for new drawing videos every Monday and Friday. And why not go and visit my website, shoeenner.com, to see what I get up to. In the meantime, you keep drawing and drawing, drawing, and practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.